ugly situation has developed Ray. here. The paramedics Ray, are up. rushing into the ring. Come on, Ray, get up, man. Please, sir. Please, please, sir. Bishop is absolutely motionless. Give us some room, people. We need to work. Isaac, do you feel bad about what happened tonight? Do I feel bad? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not how this works. This is called boxing. Have you, let me do it first. Listen, I'm not gonna cry every time some clown gets hurt, right? Raymond Bishop knew the risks when he stepped into the ring with me. Maybe if he ever wakes up, I'll knock some sense into his stupid ass. Tell Dio he could have whatever he wants. Get me in the ring with Frost. I know emotions are running high right now, but in the heat of battle, people say things, uh, ugly things. That's all for now. Please. Tell Andre Bishop he doesn't have anything I want. Everybody wants this fight to happen. I don't. Candace, uh, could you send Franco to escort my daughter out? Good night, Megan. Good night, DL. Good night, Ms. McQueen. Franco, my father's letting you go down for setting up Andre Bishop. I don't know what you're talking about. You will. I'll show myself out. If I'm going down for the bishop job, you're going with me. You gave the order. What the hell are you talking about? Your daughter just told me that I'm going down for setting up bishop? How does she even know about that? Um, down. She doesn't know anything. Don't fuck with me, McQueen. Nobody can prove anything. It's your word against the next con. We're fine. I still don't like her sniffing around. Excuse me. I forgot my phone. If I'm going down for the bishop job, you're going with me. I believe Andre Bishop has something you want. Megan, you can't do this. Megan! Megan! I have to admit, I did not want this fight to happen. Even though both fighters wanted it. Even though the public wanted it. And even though I would have made a ridiculous amount from it, I did not want this fight to happen because I did not want to risk two tragedies happening to the same family. Now we know Raymond Bishop, a fine boxer, a fine young man, is gonna recover fully from his injuries. I am proud to announce DL McQueen Promotions is bringing you the fight the challenger has been demanding. The fight the champion has been demanding. The fight you have been demanding. Isaac Frost versus Andre Bishop for the heavyweight championship of the world. May the best man win. Nevada for this heavyweight championship fight. Okay, this is good. This is good. Any questions from the challenger? Any questions from the champion? Yeah, I got one. How's little Raymond doing? So okay, okay, okay. Break it up. I want to see a nice, clean fight. Touch up. This guy is a freaking animal. Don't even try to win the first couple of rounds. Just survive. Let him tire himself out. Yeah, I got it. I mean it, kid. This guy's a freaking animal. You seen what he done to Raymond? Use your feet. Keep your hands up. Stick around for a couple of rounds and he'll get frustrated. I guarantee you. I got it, Gus.
Bishops. Andre Bishop, the veteran. Oh, this he is stunned. Is he could go down. Keep moving. Get out of there. <laughs> What cuts by Andre Bishop to survive that and now to move on. He was damaged moments ago, but now he's got his feet back underneath him. Frost known as a guy who isn't going to be bashful early on. He has power, and he's not afraid to showcase it. Yeah, but that's not all that this business is about. My mentor, Cosimato, used to say, hey, you know, power is just part of it. It's kind of like having a military weapon. You know, you still need a missile to get it there. Alone, all it does is make a hole in the ground. Otherwise, it has no real use. You have to have a way to get it to the target. Let's see if he has that way. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this oh, is a different go, piece than in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Let's see some defense. Flush right hand to the body. by Andre Bishop. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Well, once again, that wasn't a fantastic round by Andre Bishop, but I will say this, Teddy. He's hanging in this fight. Isaac Cross is, and Bishop is stunned. He just took a huge punch. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Keeping his hands up, getting away of his opponent's efforts. Beautiful, beautiful. I can see that coming. Let's go. A solid uppercut by Andre Bishop. Block more. Halfway through this round, that straight hey, up. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Andre Bishop. Piercing jab. Bishop's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. That's a hook right to the flank. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Bishop's blocking ability is doing well for him there. The left hand coming into play by Andre. Good work, kid. Beautiful work. Like we talked about. He's slowing down a bit. So let's help him out a little. What do you say? I want you to go downstairs and give him some power shots now. I want you to chop that wood for three rounds. Got it? Knock the air out of his lungs. Three rounds. Power shots. Pound that body. You got it? I got it. Pound that body. Good man. Bishop's off to a fresh start right now. That last round, he was really shook up. But he wants to be steady on his feet here. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Left 
to the body. Bishop's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Well, there's one way to slow the champ. Andre Bishop with a stinging body shot to Isaac Frost. Come on, champ, keep your distance. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Good fighting, snapping shot by Andre Bishop. What a good solid hook to the body by Andre Bishop. Targets the hook after blocking that shot. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter. Bishop's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Bishop saw this opening, or if his trainer told him to go after it, but the body of Isaac Frost is right now an inviting target, and Bishop is taking advantage of it. Protecting his head well with his guard. Andre Bishop's almost as if he's scared to throw punches right now. That he's just thinking strictly about defense after being tagged earlier in this fight. Well, he needs some help in his corner. That's where the corner comes in right now. They have to straighten his mind out right now. They have to give him another way of attack. They have to give him a see. Last 10 seconds of round number three. That's it, just like that. And that's the end of round three. right now to get some time. <sighs> Isaac Frost is able to get to the inside when he does get there. Boy, he packs a lot with that uppercut. Well, hey, that's, you're right, Joe. He does pack a lot because he's able to really snap that shoulder up. He's able to get real talk. You know, he pivots in the hip. You know, he brings it up from the ground. Oh, and another body shot by Andre Bishop. Loose. Loose. It started in round four, and here in round number six, we're seeing more of the same. And Isaac Frost able to open up a cut of Andre Bishop's eye. That is not a good sign for the challenger. Good, solid right hand by Andre Bishop. Turns over the hook after turning away his opponent's shot. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Bishop's right hand scores well that time. 
a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punch. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because maybe in his mind that means the guy that's throwing hard back at him. How about that, guys? No, oh, it ain't pretty. But we can handle it. You gotta give us some time, Trey. Protect that eye. Don't let Frost touch it or the ref will stop this fight for sure. No way. Mm. Give us a couple of rounds. We'll get it under control. Don't let him mess it up. I got you. Bishop's corner was giving him a lot of encouragement after that last round. He clearly won that last round, and they know now this is a chance to get back in this fight. Yeah, they were just in a storm. You know, they were out in the boat in the storm. There was a lot of waves coming. You know, it was, it was a little iffy for a while there, but they got past the worst of it. Now there's a little bit of calm sea. Now what you got to do is put those sails up and move forward. Isaac Frost really targeting that cut above the eye now. He's looking for a TKO here. You know he's trying to make more damage to Andre. Bishop doing a good job, though, of protecting it. Frost left, working well that time. Andre Bishop's killing me watching him here. I mean, he doesn't need a 20 by 20 ring. They can fight this thing in like a phone booth. Nah, he looks like one of those cars you see on the side of the road where they remove all the tires over the wheels. He's not going anywhere. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. before he's desperate to get his draw wide. Frost's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. I think Isaac Frost could actually knock out a guy with the jab. Some defense there with the block. Back to the head. Back to the head. That does serious damage that hook downstairs. Downstairs. Upstairs. Downstairs. Upstairs. At the halfway point of round seven. Where's the jab at, Jim? Let's go. More jabs. Straight hook. Straight hook. I shoot it away. Boom. Big shot upstairs. Oh, go for it, Jeff. One, two, one, two. 
Frost getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Headshots, champ. Back to the head. There's the headshot, but he carries it away. Isaac Frost on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success. Hey, and round quit playing seven. around with him and put that bastard away. Okay, nice work out there, kid. Looking good. Bleeding's under control. You know that could have helped us out a little bit. I mean, he's even more tired now. He spent a lot of energy trying to take you out. Yeah. Still seems like he's got a bit left. Yeah? Well, you got more. You got more energy. You got more power. And you got more heart. God, you got more heart than any other fighter I've ever known. Now, you turn it up. You take the fight to that fucker and he won't know what hit him. This is your fight now, Andre. Take it to him. That's all you had to say, Gus. Back to live yes. action now in what has been a closely contested yes. fight. One of those fights that somebody's still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. And that had some bite to it, that right hand by Andre Fisher. Frost once again the target of a hook. Isaac Frost got to find an answer for this because his accuracy has been well off the mark. I like the fact he's willing to throw. Bishop lands another combination. Teddy Frost looks higher. A stinging blow. Frost goes down. Frost has never been down. The heavyweight champion of the world is on the canvas. Can he beat the count? Frost trying to get up. He goes down again. It's all over. It's all over. There's a new heavyweight champion of the world, and his name is Andre Bishop. I knew you could do it, Andre. I'm proud of you. I hope we can work together now. Oh, I'd love to, Mr. King. But you might have some problems running things from the pen. Hey. We had a deal. You gave me your word. She didn't give you my word. You had no idea who you were fucking with. Deal! You better get me out of this! Hey! 